And I just wanted to let them know that the people here in Beverly Hills are just packing up their junk to get there. <laughs> so I'm flying back. I'm getting scared to fly now. I was in New York at the airport uh, three weeks ago when the plane run right off the runway into the water. And I'm thinking, first of all, anybody stupid enough to get on an airplane with the flight number 5050? <laughs> Flight 5050 is always flight 103 216, right? 5050? They're telling you before you leave the gate. 5050. <laughs> no, that's right. 5050. 5050. Go on out there on runway 13 and give it your best shot, huh? <laughs> they had him in a hotel, Pittsburgh, $350 a night. Maid came by and asked me, did I want her to change my sheets? I said, for $350 a night, I want you to change everything in this room. <laughs> change those mattresses over there. I don't like the wallpaper in here. Change that. Get me a new television. I've seen every station on this TV. $350 a night. Change my underwear. Change everything in here. <laughs> so I get back here today, Los Angeles. I'm trying to park my car. The lady behind me is hunking and hunking. I said, I'm waiting for the guy to pull out so I can back in. She's hunking and hunking. I said, I'm waiting for the guy to pull out so I can back in. She gets out of the car, comes up and slaps me silly. I said, Zsa Zsa, if you don't get back in your car. What is it with this lady? Huh? Some of you wanted her to go to jail. Some of you wanted her to pay that heavy fine. I thought that was too much for her. I would like to see her out on the freeway picking up paper. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> Me driving by throwing gum wrappers out of the window. You know? <laughs> so I'm living here now in beautiful Los Angeles, and the worst thing about living here in Los Angeles is you can't get too close to friends. You get too close to somebody here in Los Angeles, you wind up driving them to the airport. <laughs> Yeah, when they ask you, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> You're going to the airport. They'll call you 3 o'clock in the morning. Can you pick me up? Pick you up? I dropped you off. The second worst thing about living here, you have people to visit you from out of state, especially if they have kids. Where you got to go? If I go to Disneyland one more time, I'll die. Huh? I've been down there so many times, I got Mickey Mouse and Goofy calling me by my first name. Get away from me, you little ugly mouse. Get away from me. I don't understand it. I'm watching TV here in Los Angeles tonight. They had this new invention, the clapper. You seen the clapper? <laughs> clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off the clapper. <laughs> and you seen this old winch at the end of the commercial? <laughs> I thought she clapped the pacemaker off. And she didn't clap with her hands. She did it all that fat underneath her arms. Whack, whack. <laughs> Why do they come up with all these new inventions? Then after the clapper, they have the Civil War chess set. The Civil War chess set. And that's something I really enjoyed doing, sitting around remembering the Civil War. <laughs> Georgia. Each piece is made of fine pewter. Since when did pewter become a precious metal? <laughs> you know, that's a lovely ring you have on there. Might that be pewter? <laughs> and they send you one piece every two months. I guess around the year 4,000, I should be ready to play some chess, huh? <laughs> the Silver War chess said, I can't wait till they come out with that slave edition of Monopoly. <laughs> No property, no community chest, just all around the board. Go to jail, go to jail, go to jail, go to jail, go to jail. I don't understand it. So many things I don't understand. You watch cartoons, why don't Brutus eat some spinach and beat the hell out of Popeye every now and then? I don't understand it. You get on the buses today. All the buses, they want exact change, exact change. I figure if I give them exact change, they should take me exactly where I want to go. I don't understand it. Another thing I don't understand, over the weekend, how do they come out with the Sunday newspaper on Saturday? <laughs> Who knows this stuff? Who's the editor? Nostradamus? 
you read the obituaries, that could screw you up real good. People calling you 3 o'clock in the morning going, ooh, you going to die? Uh, can you pick me up at the airport? Thank you so much. You're very great. Thank you so much. and I'm going to take a little holiday, something you don't like to do. You say, no, you no. like to work every night. I'm going to go maybe over to Honolulu for a little while. Go to Honolulu. Fun. Yeah, I'm going to go over there. Now, I just heard from the local police in my area that you're in my hometown in Boston there. Well, you don't have to tell everybody. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. I, I did. I stayed at one of your expensive hotels there in uh, Boston. I stayed at that Rich Carlton. Oh, nice and lovely. It's okay, you know, for the $300 a night. Then I went down to the coffee shop. I had some raisin toast, and the raisin toast was $7.25. I told the lady, you take this back in the kitchen and you take six dollars worth of those raisins off this toast right now. <laughs> hey, let, let, let me ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, let, me, let me ask you a question. When you're in these hotels, All right. do you do when I do? You're walking down the hall and the maid is in another room cleaning and she leaves a little cart in the hallway. <laughs> you like load up on junk like that. <laughs> You sound cool with shampoo. Well, I, I get my Christmas gift that way. Really? Last year, my mother got a nice set of towels. I stole them from the Marriott. I said, yeah. uh, that M, that's for mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then I stayed at the Hilton. I stole those towels with that big H on it. I'm going to a wedding uh, in Boston, back to Boston, McCourt's wedding. And uh, I'm going to give them those towels with that big H on them. And that's going to be their gift. And that's his, and that's hers. You see? I see. Yeah. Boy, so. you're thinking all the time, George. You got that right, Jay. Now, let me ask you. Now, you, now your nephew, is it your nephew that plays for the 49ers? Yes, yeah. he do. <laughs> yes, he does. He plays yes, for he the 49 San Francisco 49ers, we're going back to the Super Bowl. Really? Yeah. Back to the Super Bowl. Number 74, Stephen Wallace, you might remember him. He's the first one to get hurt in the Super Bowl last year. Is that right? Yeah, he broke his leg. Joe Montana fell on his foot, and they cut it off, gave him a Super Bowl ring. Everybody's hat. <laughs> But San Francisco is good. I'm originally from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They were... Yeah, we have no sports in Atlanta, you know that. They have... They make fun of our sports teams in Atlanta. They have bumper stickers that says, Go Braves and take the Falcons with you. <laughs> they got jokes... They have jokes in Atlanta, Interstate 20, Falcons nothing. I went to... I, I went to a game last in Atlanta to the Falcons. I thought I was at a Billy Graham Crusade revival. The stadium was full and everybody was going, Yes, I Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Very funny stuff. Brother George Wallace, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.